Jackie, I vow to love you. I will keep on loving you for the million little things that you do that make you unique and that make me smile. Ruth, I vow to love you. It is the greatest desire of my heart to be forever faithful to you and to love you always. I promise to be all that you want, all that you need and all that you deserve. I promise to trust you, protect you and respect you. I promise to keep myself open to you, to let you see through the window of my personal world into my innermost fears and feelings, secrets and dreams. I promise to share with you my time and my attention, to bring joy, strength and imagination to our relationship. I promise that I will never give up. I will always believe in us. We will face changes together in order to keep our relationship alive and exciting. May we never forget how we felt when we first stared into each other's eyes and when we shared our first kiss. May the bond that we make today never be broken and may it only continue to grow stronger for the rest of our lives. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed you've been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in the car or over a meal, during long walks, and all those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will and you will and we will. All those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, and all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart, all these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed while well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another, acquaintance and friend, companion and lover, dancing partner, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another these past few years. Shortly, you shall say a few words that will take you across a threshold in life and things between you will never quite be the same. But after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. Jackie, I give you this ring as my promise, that I will walk with you hand in hand wherever our journey leads us, living, learning, loving, together forever. I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage and as a token of our everlasting love for each other. I promise to cherish our union and to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. It's a privilege and a great pleasure to declare you are husband and wife and you make it.
this opportunity before I say anything else to say, Jackie, just how beautiful you look today. And I'll let you all in on that. She looks beautiful wearing it. So because of how nervous I knew I'd get, I was trying to come up with some strategies to uh, keep myself calm and prepared for today. So I was thinking back to when else had I been this nervous, and two particular times came to mind. Our first date. So back when me and Jackie first met, we'd been messaging for about a month, and we decided to meet up at Clowns Cafe in Cambridge. I knew she was attractive from the photos I'd seen, but nothing could have prepared me for just how beautiful she looked. So we said hello, we went on in, we found a table, um, and after a couple of hours of conversation and uh, some nice lunch, it was time to leave. Which I'm going to be honest, suit me because I was running out of things to say. Um, but it didn't end there. Jackie had other ideas. Um, we then went bowling, we played pool, we went out for coffee, we went back to her house, we played cards, we watched the film, and then near enough, 10 hours after it started, our first date had ended. And they say time flies when you're having fun. I still can't believe all that we've experienced together. particular highlight was the surprise trip to Iceland, which brings me on to the second time I've been unbelievably nervous. So why was I so nervous? Well, because I was going to propose. Um, now, we've been in Iceland for five days, and I carried the rings around with me in my pocket for the whole time. Reaching in, I don't know how many times, ready to pull it out and pop the question, but I was just waiting, waiting for the, the right opportunity, that perfect moment. And uh, thankfully it came on the final morning. <laughs> Shortly before we had to leave, um, I took Jackie down to the, to the front, you know, the sea and the mountains in the background, and uh, I got down on my knee in the snow and asked her to marry me. And of course, she said yes. So when I think about it, I don't need to be so nervous, I don't need to be so worried. Because looking at those times, they turned out to be two of the greatest dates of my life. And I know today will be no exception. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please be upstanding for the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Hill. Jackie had some hard acts to follow growing up with two extremely talented older sisters, and she constantly gave 100%. I now have three extremely talented daughters, two that can pull my teeth out, and one that can charge me for the privilege. I'd like to welcome Reese to our family. I've not yet got to know him very well, but I do know that Jackie has never settled for second best. Finally, would you all raise your glasses to Reese and Jackie? <laughs> May they both live long and prosper and be happy together. Reese and Jackie. Reese and Jackie. He never leaves the seat up or wet towels on the floor. The 
toothpaste has the lid on and he always shuts the door. She says she loves his kindness and his patience is a must and of course she thinks he's handsome which in her eyes is a plus. He's a very active person, exercise is just a ticket and if he could get away with it he'd drag her to the cricket. He romances her and dines her, home cooked dinners and the like. He even knows her favourite food and spoils her day and night. She's thoughtful when he looks at her, a smile upon his face. Will he look that good in 50 years when his dentures aren't in place? <laughs> he says he loves her figure, her mental prowess too. But when gravity takes over, will she charm with her IQ? <laughs> They're both not wholly perfect, but who are we to judge? He can be quite stubborn and she's not, uh, no not to budge. All that said and done, they love their time together and I hope, as I'm sure you do, that this fine day will last forever. He'll be more than just her husband, he'll also be her best friend and she'll be more than just his wife, she'll be his soulmate till the end. This poem for Reese and Jackie, a, ma a married couple now, is a token of the love they share and the thought behind each vow. What can I say about her? She's adventurous, beautiful, creative, kind, thoughtful, talented, inspiring, gorgeous, focused, independent, intelligent. She's my world. Um, and she does so much for me. She even wrote that part of the speech. <laughs> but joking aside, she's all of those things and more. Um, ever since she came into my life, things have changed. And I can't imagine life without her. She truly is one of a kind. I feel so honoured to be standing up here in front of you all, able to call her my wife. So if I can invite you all to uh, join me in a toast, to the love of my wife, to the love of my life, <laughs> my new wife, to Jackie. Jackie.